This is how you can go about securing massive bookings that surpass £10,000 from just one booking. And you can do this by implementing some of the strategies I'm going to be sharing with you. And by doing that, it will allow you to attract more of those types of Airbnb bookings. And just to show you that this is no fact, there is an Airbnb booking that one of my clients, her name was Martina, recently received for her property in Manchester. And by the way, this is for a rent-to-rent -rent service combination property that she attracted that booking for. So let's get straight into this. One of the ways that you can go about attracting those types of bookings is by adjusting your minimum nightly period. What a lot of people tend to do is set their minimum nightly rate to two nights, three nights, maybe even four nights, which is okay. Don't get me wrong. That's definitely not a bad thing. However, by you doing that, you're not really going to be attracting the types of people that are looking to book more long term. What that means is anybody looking to book 30 days or more. Now let's look at an example real quick. Let's say you have a property in Manchester and let's say that same property has bookings scattered throughout the entire month. Maybe you've got two bookings from the 15th to the 17th, you've got another booking from the 25th to the 28th, so forth and so forth. And those types of bookings are scattered again throughout the month. Now let's say I'm coming along. I'm coming along because I'm looking to book a place for two months in that exact same area you have your property in and with the same size property as well. And let's say I'm looking to book this property two weeks from now. Well, guess what? Your property isn't going to show up. Why? Because you have these small bookings scattered across the month. You can literally even have the whole month empty except for, let's say, for example, two nights on and on the 27th to the 28th. But then the whole month is empty. But if I'm looking to book next week or two weeks from now for two months, well, guess what? Your place isn't going to come up. The only places that will really and truly come up are places that have their calendars fully clear and that are available for me to rent for at least a month or even two months. And trust me, there are a lot of properties out there that have their minimum nightly stays to at least a month. Now look, there's a few things that you need to do to allow you to actually do this because not every single person can do this to where they're setting their minimum nightly rate to one month. The first thing you need to do is making sure that you have the right property secured in the right location. The location is super, super important because let's say, for example, you have a property in Great Yarmouth or Cornwall. Now Cornwall is a super touristy area. You know, a lot of people going there for the weekend, booking for holidays, etc., etc. Now for that sort of place, because the main focus would be targeting tourists, it wouldn't be the best type of area to go about having that minimum nightly stay of a month. Because usually the types of people that will be looking to book properties for at least a month or even longer are usually people, for example, traveling for work and business. This could be corporate professionals. This could also be contractors as well, because they're working nearby in the construction sites. And of course the work is going on for a long period period of time. This could be for families, for example, families that need temporary accommodation because they're looking for longer term accommodation, maybe because they're just fresh into the country, or maybe because their current property is undergoing a renovation or certain maintenance repairs that require them to stay elsewhere for the time being. So you need to make sure that the property you're getting in is in an ideal location to where you can go about targeting those specific demands if you're looking to attract more long term bookings. Another thing you need to do to go about attracting those types of bookings as well is making sure that you're tailoring the properties to those individuals as well. Let's say, for example, your main focus is contractors. This is who you're targeting. Well, look, you need to make sure that first you're getting a bigger property because usually these individuals travel in groups. I would suggest the minimum property size you have is a two bedroom. The larger, usually the better because you can accommodate more of them, which means obviously more money for you. And definitely the most important thing is to make sure that the place comes with parking. This is an absolute must when you are targeting contractors. And if you don't have this, you can forget about it. Don't contractors going to be coming to you unless literally their work site is literally two minutes walk from your house which most of the times is super unlikely so don't bother going with a place that doesn't have parking to where you're looking to target contractors and it's the same thing with families as well if you're looking to target families families usually drive and they would require parking and let's say on the flip side you're looking to target corporate professionals or well, maybe you need to give the place an uplift and make it higher quality you know, more modern more high end etc etc maybe you can go about including a workstation in that property workstation where there's a nice desk there's a nice office chair a place for them to really get in that work mode and get in that work zone too also just a side note as well please make sure that the mattresses you're getting are comfortable mattress don't penny pinch when it comes to buying comfortable mattress trust me i've done that in the past and it's cost me big time because guests usually complain you know they don't like it and they usually end up leaving you a bad review so it's really not worth it so that's just a super quick side note for you and also other things that we can go about doing to attract more longer term bookings is by listing our properties on different platforms now of course you've got the obvious ones like airbnb booking.com etc but there are other platforms that focus mainly on targeting people that are looking to book long term. For example, there's a platform that's called Homelike where you can advertise your property and target people that are looking to book for at least a month. And that website right there is mainly tailored towards corporate and working professionals traveling for work and business too. So you have that website right there. You have another website called Silverdoor. Again, pretty much the same thing, a website mainly focused on targeting the corporate demand. You have another website called Situ, another one called Seiko, pretty much the same thing, targeting the same individuals that are looking to book more long term. And also what you could do as well, you can actually list your property on places like 
like open rent. Now, open rent isn't really for people looking to book shorter term accommodation. It's more for people that are looking to book six months, a year, just from normal landlords, normal AST contracts. However, you can definitely list your property on there as well because there could be people on there looking for shorter term accommodation. So you've got open rent and potentially you could also lift your property on right move, Supla, pretty much the same reasons as for open rent as well. And you could also list your property on Google listing as well. So by doing all of these different things that I'm suggesting to you, you can definitely go about attracting these types of bookings for yourself, no problem at all. So this is super important information right here. Now look, I hope you found this super insightful, super valuable. If you have, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button so that YouTube helps me put this out to more people. And look, if you're looking to learn more about how to get started off with your service accommodation business, definitely hit that subscribe button because I'm putting content out there on a weekly basis. So without further ado, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you do your thing. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Okay.